Okay, so in this video I am going to show you how to integrate your uh, autoresponder into the funnel that we just created. Uh, there are lots of different autoresponders to choose from. The example I'm going to give you today is from AWeber, but when you first get into ClickFunnels, one of the very first things you want to do is you need to go, go here to where it says Account come down to integrations and then it says add a new integration and by integration it just means your autoresponder uh, you'll see that I already have AWeber and uh, GVO uh, listed here I've already integrated those in so what you want to do is you want to just select the integration type and there's a long list here of all the different autoresponders. Uh, I can't imagine that there's an autoresponder out there that is not linked here to, that, doesn't, that won't allow you to link to um, AWeber. So, for example, if you had Infusionsoft, you could click right here and you would give it an account name and I would just call it Infusionsoft. And then there's an API key, and you have to go back to your Infusionsoft uh, site, and uh, you'll have to find that API key, and you'll put that right in here. And then you just hit Create Integration, and that will automatically then put your autoresponder into this list. Now, once it's in this list, that just means that uh, ClickFunnels now knows that you have the ability to create a list in this autoresponder and hook it up to uh, one of the funnels that you created. But that does not mean that it's automatically hooked into any new funnel that you create because you have the ability to go over here and create basically as many lists as you want. And so you want to um, send to the very specific list that you have created for the funnel that you're going to be using. So in this case, I have created a funnel, or a, not a funnel, a list, and here it is, create your first funnel. So this is my list, and I've already created it and everything, so you will see that I have no subscribers in this list yet. I have gone in here and created my first email in my legacy series which is the follow-up series that your subscribers are going to get once they get into your list and so I have created my very first uh, uh, follow-up email and I would suggest that before you start driving traffic to your funnel that you have a minimum of 10 follow-up emails uh, scattered probably two each of them two days apart from the previous one already set up in your autoresponder before you start driving traffic to that site uh, the last thing you want to do is send people to a website or I mean excuse me to a list and then nothing happened they don't hear from you they don't get you know and then they forget about you and then all, when all of a sudden you start sending them emails then they think well hey this is somebody that's spamming me because I don't remember this guy so you want to make sure that you have a minimum of 10 and more is better so uh, let me just pull up another one of my funnels here and let's try this list right here and you'll see that I have uh, 10 follow-up emails in this series and so this is one that I have no problem starting to drive traffic to uh, because I know that I've got, uh, and you can see that I've, I've uh, scattered them out. This is the one that they're going to get immediately. This is one they're going to get two days after that, two days after that, two days after that. So I've got at least 20 days of, it's going to be 20 days into this series before I have to worry about adding more emails to them and uh, so at least have 10 follow-up emails in your list before you start to send traffic to your funnel okay so let's go back here and let's pull up our funnel again 
and we're going to go here to the very first page of our opt-in page because that's where they're going to enter their email so we are going to go up here to settings and you see integrations I click on that it is not integrated it's not connected so it's pretty simple to do I go down here I select a Weber because that's where my list is I select integrate an existing form and then I just come up here and I select let's see where it is okay I just did that so it's not showing up in my list so I'm gonna do refresh and now I'm gonna look at my list again and there's my create your first funnel so if you've just made your list and it doesn't show up in this uh, then just do the refresh look at it again and there it is okay so we are connected now and I want to hit save all right that's saved so we're going to exit out of this one and now we're gonna go over here and do exactly the same thing to the second variation in our funnel uh, if you don't come over here and do exactly the same thing because it is not connected then if you start sending traffic to this funnel uh, fifty percent of the traffic is not going to have any way to get on your uh, email list because you have not integrated it so it's connected we're gonna save that and now we are going to uh, we'll just go ahead and preview this one we're going to download our free book today all right and it's taken us over to our thank you page so everything there is working fine but now we want to go back and check and make sure that in fact let's go to create your first funnel the list that we made so there's create your first funnel and we want to see if we have any subscribers and we do so that one worked just fine and now what I would do is I would go back and I would exit out of here I would do exactly the same thing for the first page we're going to open it up we're going to preview it and we're going to click here we're going to uh, open in a different email address because that's the same one that I'm using over there so I'm going to pick a different email address click again takes us to our uh, thank you page so that is all working just fine we've got the the timer going our download links not showing up everything's working great here let's go back over to a Weber let's refresh our list and we now have two subscribers one that came in from each variation of our landing page so now we know that both variations are working we've got uh, we put our email address in it came in it went into our list uh, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just do a quick check here and this is the other thing that we need to check on is look at that ah a Weber's asking me to uh, confirm my subscription because I forgot to do one thing over here when I created that list uh, I've confirmed it now that's fine uh, what I want to do is I want to shut off the second confirmation though uh, so we're gonna X out of this and I'm going to go up here and refresh this page 
And here's my first email that I sent out, uh, that I set up in my account. And here it is, so I can download the book in case they didn't download it when they first got onto our thank you page. They can download the book right here. And everything is good. What I want to tell you about that second opt in page. Uh, what I forgot to do when I set up the, uh, and I'll just go back here because this is a good, good lesson for you. Uh, let me find my sign up form, my web form here. And go to step two. Oh, I want to go to list options here. And I want to go to the confirmation message. And I've got the confirmation message on, which means that AWeber is going to send them a message to their email address, like what you just saw there, that they're going to have to click on. They'll be listed in your, in your list, but they're not going to get messages from you until they click on that link. So you want to shut this off. And you want to make sure that it's off and then that way they go automatically into your list and they automatically get the the first email immediately without having to uh, click on another link to be put into to give you permission to send them emails uh, a Weber likes to do the second opt-in but I can tell you if you do that you're gonna leave a lot of people that are not going to click on that second link and they're never going to get your messages so click this off and check any whatever autoresponder you're using to see if they have a second opt-in and hopefully you have an ability to shut that off now I've been doing this with Aweber long enough to know uh, for them to know that if I click this off it's off uh, in the early days of me starting to work with Aweber and wanting to uh, make sure that the double opt-in is off. I would click it off, but unless I contacted customer support and told them to make sure that it was off, it would not actually be off even though I had clicked it off. So you need to make sure that if you're starting new with someone like A. Weber, that when you shut that second opt-in off, that you let customer support know that you really do want it off. Um, and eventually they'll understand that that's just the way you run your your uh, email settings and now when I click it off it's off so if I were to run another uh, a different email through there now it would automatically kick out the the first email message to them so um, everything is working we have uh, very successfully created a funnel we've now integrated it to our email address or to our uh, email list that we've created in this case in a Weber but it works really with any uh, autoresponder that you can uh, find out there and we check to make sure that the first message was actually getting sent out uh, immediately once the person got on the list and you want to do all of those things to just double check and make sure that you have a fully functional uh, funnel before you start driving traffic to it. We could have a great looking landing page, but if it doesn't go to a thank you page, we've accomplished nothing. We can have a great looking uh, landing page, a, a magnificent thank you page, uh, you know, like this one that works great. Uh, we put a timer on it. We've uh, put an uh, opportunity for us to make some money and everything but if our emails are not being captured and put on a list uh, in an autoresponder so that we can continue to market to that group over and over and over again and just let me show you um, did I get out of here okay um, let me show you up here on messages 
not only do you have the ability to send out those uh, the legacy follow-up series, but you can also send out what is called a broadcast, which means I can literally come in here, create an email anytime I want, pick my list, hit send, and it will send an email out. So I may be in between emails on my uh, autoresponder series, uh, or maybe something came out that's just red hot and you want to get it out to everybody immediately, then you can do a broadcast. So it gives you a lot of opportunities to market to the list that you're building. And, you know, the importance of the list is to be able to create a relationship and send things out to them. You know, I send out announcements when I have a new blog post uh, for them because it's content that they can use and it's free and it's not me trying to sell them all the time when they get an email from me. So the more content, the more free content you can send out in these uh, broadcasts, uh, the more used to they get to opening your emails because they start seeing that, hey, you're giving them some great things that they can use to uh, uh, help them along and they're more likely to open your emails when they see them come into their uh, inbox. So we have very successfully created now a fully functional uh, funnel from start to finish. We have a, an opt-in page, we have a thank you page, we are connected to our autoresponder. We have an email series going out to anyone who opts into our, our uh, page. And so we are set up and ready to actually rock and roll and do business. And in the next video, I'm going to actually give you some bonus training on uh, a bridge page and what that means and why you might want to use a bridge page, uh, which is actually a page that it's a step that goes between the opt-in and the thank you. And so uh, we'll talk about that in the next video. This is how you connect your autoresponder to make sure that anyone who opts into your page winds up on your list. And I hope this has been beneficial.